Assalamu alaikum students. Uh, in my last video, uh, I explained what is the projection theorem and how do we get these two formulae, W1 and W2. And in this video, I would explain an example and I'll show how can we decompose a vector U uh, with respect to another vector that is A. Okay, let's consider this example. Suppose uh, we have a vector that is U and the components of the vectors are 2, minus 1, 3, and there's another vector that is A, and the components of the vector A are 4, minus 1, and 2. So, we uh, just uh, need to know a few things before uh, going, to, uh, before going uh, for the question. One is the projection theorem, and the formula for the projection are written over here. Projection is nothing uh, but the components, uh, if the vector is U and it has a shadow or W1 on A and then it has another shadow that is W2 and that W2 is perpendicular to A, then we would say that W1 is the shadow or projection along vector A and W2 is the shadow or projection of U uh, perpendicular to A, okay? So here is the question, let u is this and a is this, uh, find vector component of u along a. It means that the decomposition of u which is along a, that is w1, and the vector component of u orthogonal to a, orthogonal means perpendicular, it means that we need to find such component uh, which is the shadow of u and is perpendicular to a, that is actually the w2. and now let's do the this question. Uh, by projection theorem, we have W one equals to projection of U along A. That is U dot A over A norm square A. Okay, so we just have to calculate few things. One is U dot A. This is called inner product or dot product. I have already explained inner product in my videos. So if anyone is not familiar with this idea, he or she should con uh, consult my previous videos. This is a norm, a norm squared. Uh, I have already made a lecture explaining how to calculate norm of a vector. So if you are not familiar with this concept, you should watch the corresponding video which is related to a norm squared, a norm. Now, for our particular vectors, uh, u dot a is given as, uh, let me show you u and a again, this is u, and this is a, in dot product we just multiply the corresponding elements of the vectors, and then we just add them, okay, so here we have, <coughs> uh, let me explain it, so that is, 2 times 4 then plus negative 1 times negative 1 then plus 3 times 2 and the working is given over here so u dot a would be 2 times 4 plus negative 1 times negative 1 plus 3 times 2 and the net result would be 15 so u dot a is 15 so among these so many things u dot a is known now we need to calculate a norm a norm is simply u norm is nothing but the square sum of squares of uh, the components of the vector then taking and then the square root is taken for the uh, of the sum uh, suppose we have uh, like we have the u that is 4 minus 1 and 2 so you let me write that a is Suppose a is 4 minus 1 and 2 so we just have to calculate the norm and for that we will take the square of this component that is 4 square then plus we will take minus 1 square and plus then we will take 2 square so actually this is the u norm when we take the square on both sides so we don't have to uh, take the square root it will just remove the square root and here we get a norm square which equals to 4 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 2 squared and the answer is 21 okay so now we just have to 
replace these values in equation one. Uh, instead of u dot a, we will write 15. And instead of a norm squared, we will write 21. And instead of a, we will just write uh, the value of a, which is already given in the question. So here, w1 is 15 over 21. That is actually u dot a, and this is a norm squared times a. And if we just replace the value of a, we will we will get w1 that is equals to 5 by 7 times this vector if we cancel these we will get 5 by 7 okay so that would be 5 times 5 by 7 times 4 that is 20 by 7 then 5 by 7 times negative 1 we will have minus 5 by 7 and 5 by 7 times 2 that would be 10 by 7 so actually this is the component uh, of u which is in direction of a that is w1 and now we will calculate another component that is w2 and that component is actually perpendicular to a okay there are two components one is along a and another one is perpendicular to a for perpendicular component we would just write w2 is equals to u minus project projection of a along u that is w2 is nothing but u minus w1 so in the previous lecture I have explained the working how do we get w2 equals to u minus w1 where I would just replace the values u is already known we will put it over here then w1 is uh, already calculated above we will just replace the value over here and then uh, this is nothing but the sub subtraction of two vectors we will subtract these two vectors and for subtraction we just subtract the corresponding components two would uh, like we would have 2 minus 20 by 7 then we will have minus 1 then negative minus 5 by 7 so that would be minus 1 plus 5 by 7 then 3 minus 7 by 10 and we will get this w2 so uh, this is actually uh, the application of projection theorem and how we can calculate the components of a vector u with respect to another vector uh, that is uh, uh, a okay now for practice problems uh, these are the practice exercises for my last three videos and that is question 1 to question 6 and exercise is 3.3 .3, and the book is uh, Linear Algebra by Howard Arnton and then the question 13 to 20 and then question 30 per, then question 35 to 37 okay and uh, the page number of the book is 162 and if there is any query feel free to comment and you can also give me a personal message if uh, you cannot understand any of the things. So till then, Allah Hafiz.